Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak. I hope your Ramadan is going well. Welcome to Ikra Talent Show, the first year of this talent show. I'm your host for today, Abu Hasnat. I hope your Ramadan has been going well and inshallah you'll be making dua for everyone, the whole ummah, and you'll be making dua for us and all of our contestants you've seen so far. So we are on our next episode and I'll be presenting this one today. I have six contestants to take part in today's show inshallah and before I do any of that I would first like to take the opportunity to give recognition to our sponsors for Ikra Talent Show 2024 and our sponsors are Madinatul Khairi Al Islam our second sponsor is Wef, um, Madin, Madinia Welfare Trust and finally our third sponsor is Jamiatul Khair. So Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward these three sponsors for um, taking part and, and allowing us to do this show. And of course, we thank you for taking part as the audience to come watch our show. And I'll go to the next part where I'm going to thank uh, the hard work which they've been doing for this entire time um, is our judges. So inshallah, if I come over to my left and I'm going to introduce my first judge closest to me, Sheikh Munawwar Hussein. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I hope you are well, Sheikh, and hope your Ramadan is going well. Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And then I'm going to introduce our second judge, um, Sheikh Maulana Fayez Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalam. I hope your Ramadan is going well, Sheikh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, khair. And lastly, um, Mufti Saleh Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, Mufti Shab. Hope your Ramadan is going well. Alhamdulillah. Right, I've introduced our sponsors, I've introduced our judges, I've introduced our show. There's one thing I need to go on to and it's, it's our contestants today. So I'm going to introduce them one by one. And just to recap on what we've been doing in this show, each person, each, each of our contestants here, these young men here, are going to go up at the front and do a performance in front of the judges. When they do the performance, it's a choice of what they wish to do. They can do kira, they can do a nasiha, they can read a story. Um, they can do the adhan, whichever they wish to do, they will do it. Once they have done, and they will take, um, go back to their seats, I will ask one of the judges on a pro rata basis to comment on that performance. Once I've had all six performances, I will have all six up on the stage in front of us, and inshallah, I will then hand over to my three judges, who will decide between the three of them who is the one contestant that will go through to the next round, inshallah. So I hope that... You enjoy this and I hope this is a good time for you to spend during your Ramadan as you wait for iftar to come to come or if it's already a iftar, hope you've had a good iftar and you can relax and watch this. Um, so inshallah, before any further ado, I will go ahead and bring up my first contestant and on the request of um, my honourable judges, they've asked me to allow the Qira'at to take place first. So I am going to call upon Saeed Shah Mahbub. وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّا السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحَ وَجَعَلْنَاهَا رُجُومًا لِلشَّيَاطِينِ لِلشَّيَاطِينِ وَأَعْتَدْنَا لَهُمْ عَذَابَ السَّعِيرِ وَلِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ عَذَابُ جَهَنَّمَ وبئس المصير إذا ألقوا فيها سمعوا لها شهيقا وهي تفور تكاد تميز من الغيظ كلما ألقي فيها فوج سألهم 
سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله Thank well done um, سيد شا محبوب Mashallah. Um, I'm going to go over to my judges and say you remain there while you're going to hear the feedback. Um, if I um, start with uh, Mufti Saleh Ahmad, if you'd um, kindly give us a few comments, inshallah. Uh, Sayyid Shah Mahbub, uh, beautiful recitation, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you hafiz the Quran and da'i ila Allah. Ameen. Mashallah. Jazakumullah khair. Mashallah. My audience can join me saying Ameen. Ameen. Mashallah. Saeed, Shah Mahbub, well done. Young man, please come back and take a seat. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, what a way for us to start our, um, this evening's episode with um, beautiful recitation, MashaAllah. And no doubt I can see my judges over to the left are writing away, so they've got a lot of notes today. And just before I move on to the other contestants, I just want to remind everyone at home um, how nervous these young men might be in going up there to do this and what a great performance that they can still go, go out there and do and how much reward they will, do in, um, they will get in doing this. So even for yourself at home, don't feel that this is something that's difficult. You can do it. Just have, your fe have belief and go in with confidence and know that you'll get some positive feedback as always. So mashallah, these young men are all up here and they're getting ready for this and alhamdulillah, we've had a great start. Right, I'm going to go over to our second performance now. The second performance is going to be a nasheed. So I am going to ask Muhammad Umaysha. Chance 
to go back in time for one glance at the face of Muhammad al Amin. I would wonder whether I've had a dream. I would wonder whether I've had a dream. Mashallah. Muhammad Dumaisha, Mashallah. Marvelous performance. Um, right, I'm going to go over to our judges to get some comments. Can I ask for Sheikh Maulana Fawaz Ahmed to give you comments, please, Inshallah? Mashallah. Well done. Tumar Shundor Nasheed. Amadir Ke Kisukoner Jinnum Modina Niegese. Allah Rabbul Alamin Tumake Eshka Rasul. এবং সাথে সাথে আমাদের সকলকে mohabbat rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam আমাদের অন্তরে পয়দা করে দিন আজকের এই অশান্ত পৃথিবীতে শান্তি প্রতিষ্ঠার জন্য নবীজি মুহাম্মদ রাসূলুল্লাহ সাল্লাল্লাহু আলাইহি ওয়াসাল্লামের আদর্শ শান্তি প্রতিষ্ঠা করা সম্ভব নয় আমরা দোয়া করি এবং আশা পোষণ করি আল্লাহ রাব্বুল আলামিন তোমাদের মতো তরুণদের মাধ্যমে আবারো বিশ্বময় এই নবীজি সাল্লাল্লাহু বার্তা পৌঁছে দেবেন এই প্রত্যাশা ব্যক্ত করছি Sheikh is saying there that you just very quickly I'm just trying to say that is very you've done a very nice um, performance there um, and it's coming very peacefully and very clear and concisely and that overall we pray for your well-being because you've made such an amazing performance so Muhammad Dumaisha uh, well done just before you say let me get my whole audience to say mashallah take a seat young man thank you very much that's uh, two contestants that we've just um, had performed subhanallah um, what a bar these two young men have set, um, inshallah. So I hope you're continuing to enjoy your evening in Ramadan and these performances are, are, are going well for you. Um, if you want to comment, I'm sure the uh, comment boxes are underneath, so please feel free to send in your um, good comments towards these performances. Right, I'm going to go over to our third performance, which is going to be Zishan Mia. Zishan, if you'd like to go up onto the mic, if you can sit... Do salam to the judges, say your name and what were you going to perform? Assalamu alaikum, my name is Zishan, I'm going to do Adhan inshallah.
Mashallah, Ms. Dushan Mia. Okay, um, stay there. You're going to hear the comments from the judge, and the judge that's going to be commenting for you is uh, Sheikh Munawar Hussain. Jazakallah. Mashallah, Muhammad Jisan, very beautiful Azan. I, I hope you know the, how the Azan started. I just saying one thing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you a great muazzin. On the day of judgment, those who are praying, giving azan, their neck will be longer than other people. So, inshallah, you will be one of the, them. May Allah reward you. We really enjoy your performance, azan, mashallah. Mashallah. Um, if, if the audience can join me, say mashallah to young Zishan. Mashallah. Zishan, do you want to take a seat? Alhamdulillah, three performances we've got done already, subhanAllah. Um, and what a great Ramadan this is going to be. Again, this is the first year Ikra is doing the Ikra Talent Show. And we've had three amazing talents um, on tonight as well. And the last few days, um, we've had quite a few talents coming as well. But only one can go through. But we will come to that later on because I've still got another three more people to uh, get up onto the stage. So, um, Yahya Hussein Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Right, so My name is Yahya Huraira Ahmed, and today I will be reciting a few verses from the Quran. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Am lakum kitabun fihi tadrusun Inna lakum fihi lama takhayyarun Am lakum aymanun alayna baligatun ila yawmil qiyamah إلى يوم القيامة إن لكم لما تحكمون سلهم أيهم بذلك زعيم أم لهم شركاء فليأتوا بشركائهم إن كانوا صادقين يوم يكشف عن ساق ويدعون إلى السجود فلا يستطيعون خاشعة أبصارهم ترهقهم ذلة وقد كانوا يدعون إلى السجود وهم سالمون فذرني ومن يكذب بهذا الحديث سنستدرجهم من حيث لا يعلمون وأمني لهم إن كيدي متين أم تسألهم أجرا فهم من مغرم مثقلون أم عندهم الغيب فهم يكتبون فاصبر لحكم ربك ولا تكن كصاحب الحوت إذ نادى وهو مكذوم 
لولا أن تداركه نعمة من ربه لنبذ بالعراء وهو مذموم فاجتباه ربه فجعله من الصالحين وإن يكاد الذين كفروا ليزلقونك بأبصارهم بأبصارهم لما سمعوا الذكر ويقولون إنه لمجنون وما هو إلا ذكر للعالمين صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله uh, Yahya Huraira, if you want to stay there, I'm going to go over to Sheikh Maulana Fayez Ahmed for his comments on this qira'ah. Allahu Akbar, amazing tilawat. MashaAllah. I was born in the Arab world. The Arab world is a great Sheikh Der Conte, and my children are doing tilawat. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah Rabbul Alamin, you are the life of your life. You are the Lord of the Quran, the Lord of the Quran, the Lord of the Quran. Allahumma amin. Jazakallahu khair. But then the shundar tilawat karacho. You understood most of that, haven't you? Mm. Yes. Yeah, in the middle, Sheikh is just saying, um, he's making dua for you, that you become a very successful um, hafiz and he very much enjoyed your recitation, as we did all, didn't we? So if we can all together say, MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Well done, Yahya. If you would like to come and take a seat, Yahya Hurair Ahmed. MashaAllah. That's our fourth contestant. We've only got two left. We've only got two contestants left, so... Let me bring them straight on. I am going to go over to um, Zakaria Rahman, Muhammad Zakari Rahman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters at home um, watching me. Today I will be talking about Ramadan and the benefits of being patient. Ramadan shows our true potential and what we can be if we wanted to be. What we wanted, sorry. Despite the short amount of time, only 30 days, we achieve so much in spirituality and self-development. This not only illustrates for us how we can be productive if we manage our time efficiently, but what we often think to be impossible is really possible. Patience is the key to the greatest of achievements. The Prophet wasallam left Mecca in 6... 20 AH with nothing but yet return back in 630 AH to peacefully become the master of the city. It took 10 years of hard work and patience to become the master of the city, liberating one of the greatest achievements of the house of Allah and he wanted to protect it from the idols. It was said, how do we observe patience? In the same manner we fast, complete certain that, uh, that the Adhan of Maghrib will eventually be called. Ibn al-Qiyam radiallahu anhu says, Patience is for the heart, not to feel anger towards which is destined for the mouth to never complain. Don't let your definition of success, failure or self-worth be anything other than your position with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you do this, you will become unbreakable because your handhold is unbreakable. You will become unconquerable because your supporter can never be conquered. And you will, become, you will never ever become empty because your source is unending and never diminish. Yes. The Prophet wasallam says, The eye weeps and the heart grieves, but we only say what our Lord is pleased with. Also, for me, Ramadan is important because it's a month where the Prophet suffered a lot and had no food, but yet still was happy and preached Islam to the people so they would know that Allah is the one true God and He is the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Truly, the people that preserve are the women in the family, especially the mothers, but not forgetting the sisters, of course. How they show patience is by cooking all day and cleaning. They're so tired and exhausted and hungry from cooking all day. And yet they still give us a delicious feast for us to break our fast. And I want everybody to know to always be patient in life and to never give up on your uh, hopes. The Prophet wasallam took 10 years of patience and hard work to get the house of Allah back to him and stop the people from worshipping the idols. MashaAllah. 
Okay. Um, well done there, um, Zakaria Rahman, Muhammad Zakaria. I'm going to, um, Mufti Salad Ahmed, if you'd be kind enough to give us some comments. Okay, Jazakumullah Khairan. Zakaria, your beautiful speech, mashallah. But when I give a speech, uh, don't forget your, your uh, audience, your audience in front of you. Jazakumullah uh, Khairan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept you, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I accept our, our fasting, uh, Quran recitation, and all our ibadah. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum Allah khair. Mashallah. If I can ask all my audience to say, Mashallah. Well done, young man. If you wanted to come and take a seat. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi Okay, that's our five performances done. I have the final performance today, which is Kian Ahmed. Kian Ahmed. At the time of Musa Ali Salab, there were pharaohs, and there was this one specific pharaoh called Fir'aun. And he, he, one day he went to sleep and had a dream that an asteroid would hit the Egyptians' houses, but the Israelites' house would, would be unharmed or untouched. So when he woke up, he asked his magicians and sorcerers to say, What does this dream mean? And they said, a young man will lead the Israelites and free them. From then on, he told his guards to kill every young baby boy. But one day Musa alayhi salam was born and his mom was puzzled on what to do. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, told her to send Musa alayhi salam down the Nile River. A few years had passed by and he had grown older and he had a wife and he traveled back to um, Egypt to send the real message to the people. So he went to Fir'aun salam and said, You are not God. Allah is the true God. And said, And Fir'aun salam replied, Fir'aun replied, If your God, if Allah is true, show me. So the next day he told all his sorcerers and magicians to perform a magic, magic trick. So all the magicians and sorcerers chucked a stick and all of them turned into little snakes. And, Mu and then it was Musa Ali Salam's turn. So he chucked his stick, his staff, and it became a huge serpent appeared and ate all the little snakes. And the after that, f he asked Fir'aun to free the Israelites. And Fir'aun replied, no. So then Musa Ali Salam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showered them with punishments and told the Israelites and Musa Ali Salam to leave. So they traveled day and night through the desert, restless hours of the day. As, and they finally got to the, now, uh, the, the Red Sea. But Fir'aun Fir realized that they had left. So he, he, got, a, uh, he got his army and, tra and tried to catch up to Musa alayhi salam and the Israelites. And he caught up, but Musa alayhi salam was... Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa alayhi salam to strike his stick into the sea and it split into two. So they passed uh, from the they passed the Red Sea and Fir'aun uh, Fir'aun's tribe was right behind them and they tried to go through past the splits. So they went but the rivers had crashed into them and they died. A few year, uh, so then the after that the Musa alayhi salam and the Israelites traveled through the desert eat, feeding off water and manna. As they traveled, they had finally reached the destination and Musa alayhi salam was going to go up the mountain to speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them, told uh, the, the Israelites and Musa alayhi salam to fast for 30 days and then Musa alayhi salam fast for another 10 days. So they followed this and then Musa alayhi salam finally went out the mount, mountain and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the, him two tablets. Meanwhile, the Israelites uh, were left with his brother Harun alayhi salam. And then there was this one man and said, he said, why should you believe in Allah? He believe in the God that I made. So they started worshipping the idols. But Harun alayhi salam said, Stop worshipping these idols, but the people never listened. But finally, when the people, are, um, when the people, when Musa alayhi salam came back from down the mountain, he said, 
to Harun salam, why did you let them worship this idol? And then Harun salam gave his explanation and Musa salam understood. So then he told, he told the people, stop worshipping this God. And then he told the people to repent to Allah. So Musa salam told 70 of the people to repent to the people. And then um, the people went up the mountain and repented to Allah. Okay. Jazakallah. Can you stay there? I'm going to ask um, uh, Sheikh Munawar Hussain to comment on your performance, inshallah. Jazakallah, Kian. Um, you, are, you are very bravely speaking about Musa alayhi salam, the story. As we know, the, for the Musa alayhi salam, we got the five daily prayer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the night of Isra Mi'raj, gave our Prophet 50 times of prayer. And from, for the Musa alayhi salam, from his request, he go again and again to Allah, then we get five times prayer, mashallah. Uh, I think you, when you speak, don't forget us. You should look us as well. And I think you, that story you're saying, you revise and revise so many times. That's why sometimes you, when you say Pharaoh, you say Allah salam again. So this is not your mistake. Inshallah, next time you will do very well. Jazakumullahu khairan, ahsanul jaza. Can I ask all of you to say, mashallah. Okay. Right, that's all our six performances done. I would like to say to you six young men, well done. MashaAllah, uh, it was very brave of all six of you to go up there. And um, also, Jazakallah khair to our judges for some very uh, productive and very um, enlightening comments. And of course, I say thank you to our audience here and for you at home for taking the opportunity to be with us and, and to see these performances. But it doesn't finish there. We have only got one person that can go through to the next round, inshallah. So I'm going to ask my performers to go up onto the stage. Um, if I can ask, yep, um, let's, let's have you in order. So if I can ask Saeed um, Shah Mahbub to go at the very end as the first performer. Okay, and then, yep, and then, uh, then Umaysha, and then uh, Zishan. Okay, and then Yahya, and then Zakaria, and then lastly Kian, inshallah. And, while they're on the stage, if I can ask my uh, audience one more time to give all six of them a great Mashallah. Mashallah. And as you can see, um, they're all wearing medals because every single one of them performed and everyone still deserves a prize. They're all putting their medals already around, around their necks. However, I put the pressure on you, my three judges. The, the pressure is on you. Have you made a decision, judges? Inshallah. And are you going to burden me with reading out the results? Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. SubhanAllah, I have the result in front of me. Thank you to the judges. And only one of you can go through. So before I announce the winner, I'd like to say to all six of you, well done. You've all performed marvelously. And inshallah, I can see a bright future. And you are the future um, of this ummah. So inshallah, well done to your performance. But there is only one river that can go through. And when I say your name, please step forward. And the audience, you're going to join in to say, mashallah, alhamdulillah, to the person that wins. And the winner for today's episode in this Ramadan, 2024 of Ikra Talent Show is Zishan with 29 points. MashaAllah. Takbir. MashaAllah. Zishan, well done. You've gone through to the next round. Well done, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Ikra Talent Show. Join us again for the next one and the continuous ones as we go through each day's Ramadan. Until then, remember me, my family, everyone here in this, um, in this contest, contest and all my audience in your du'as and make du'a for the ummah. We'll see you again very soon. Until then, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.